You know, this is just such a treat, and these quilts are so amazing. I think we're going to have to ask you to give us a full tour of your quilts if you're willing to. Ooh, ooh, Not ooh. Not my quilts. Right, the quilts that you possess. Is that, right, right, because if I did my quilts, we'd be here till next year. Right, and I still need to decorate the lemonade stand. We are so lucky to have so many talented people in our orbit when it comes to quilting. And I'd say about 10 years ago, John and I decided we would start acquiring quilts of other artists as our form of artwork in our house. This is by Sheila Frampton Cooper. It sat across from my booth at Road to California for five days and I was completely mesmerized by this. This is one of her first quilts. And um, we decided to buy it and gratefully she sold it to us. So what's interesting is that, you know, this is a really kind of, I don't want to use the word modern piece, but it's very dynamic and my house is very traditional, yet look how beautiful it is. It just works just fine. And then it's Baby Buddy is by Katie Pasquini. Mm. Katie has been a legend on our show at thequiltshow.com and she had a bunch of these for sale when we were at her house. So of course this had to come home with me too. And I think they're paired just Great. What do you think? I love it, especially because as you walk through the hallway, it catches you from all the way down the hall. Mm -hmm. And the colors really speak to me from the distance, but it's the machine quilting. Oh, the, the quilting yeah, un un is unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I've studied it over and over and over as I get more into machine quilting. I mean, she nailed it on this particular quilt completely. Yeah. Like she doesn't nail it on all her quilts. Right. Get real, Alex. Oh, look, though. I just found that's one of the things I like the most is it's not quilted right in that space. And that really adds to it, doesn't it? Yeah. And I don't think any of these are hand dyed. In fact, I know she hand dyes her fabric, but this is one of the reasons she was willing to sell it to us was because it was commercial grade fabric. Okay. What else you got around here? Well, David Taylor started the whole thing. Well, just saying. Let's go see that one. <laughs> was yeah. Because of him, this whole thing started. Right, let's go. Something good in there? It's from this photograph. Oh. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And do we know who the gal looking at the photograph is? No, but he knows Sally. Okay. Uh, David knows Sally. Got it. Okay. So what is this, Alex? So this quilt opened the door of havoc as far as collecting quilts. David was on thequiltshow.com and he wanted to sell quilts. And Ricky said, do not ever sell this quilt. It's iconic. And it really was. It kind of put him on the map. And um, I went up to David and I said, I agree with Ricky. You should not sell it. But if you want to sell it, come to us first. And he did. And I said, okay, I want you to think about it for 24 hours. And I said, but I will tell you this, if you need this for an exhibition or anything like that, I'm happy to lend it back to you. And the next day, sold. <laughs> and, oh man, it was like, oh, that, that check was mighty, mighty. But boy, do we enjoy it. And I was just telling Rob and Charisma that <laughs> people come in and go, oh, did you do that? Uh, no. No, not even close. Do you want to see a nine patch over there? <laughs> I'd be happy to share. Oh, yeah. So this is all pieced in applique? Yes. And, and when we had him on the show, he was more applique-ish. Right. But this is pieced and applique. And I mean, Rob, look, look at that little detail right there of the reflection. It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And David knows Sally. And Sally's the gal in the red mm -hmm. dress. How fun. Yeah, it's very nice. So this is what started it all. Is it also the favorite? I won't, I won't even ask you that question. We're going to... We won't. Even I don't have a favorite. You don't? I don't. No. And honestly, the truth is, this does not hang here all the times. Based on the season, I might take it out and put something else up there. So, yeah, no, I don't have a favorite. Got it. But you, you do have a few more. But I will tell you this, though. <laughs> my daughter said... Okay, my daughter wants it. That's all I'm going to say. She said, just... Let's all ignore it, and my brother won't know the difference. God, God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You won't mention. So I want to take a look at a quilt that Sue Nichols and Pat Holly did together. Awesome. I feel so lucky to have such wonderful friends slash quilters in my life, and one such person is Libby Lehman. She suffered a massive stroke several years ago. She, if you don't know her work, go look it up, Libby Lehman. 
And the quilters came together to raise money to help with her recovery. So one of the things is we went out to all the artists and we said, make a, a quilt and they gave parameters and then they were gonna auction them off so that the money could go for her recovery. Well, this is by Sue Nichols and Pat Holly, and I wanted this so badly that, man, I just sat at my computer, like, ready. I want it, I'll pay the full price for it. It's made of Silk Dupiani, and I will tell you, as far as a quilt goes, this is excellence, absolute excellence. And I love how it hangs up high here in the living room next to my grandma's donkey, or donkey plate. <laughs> I can't tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really special quilt to me. It comes from the days of Simply Quilts on HGTV. We had a challenge show and we got three quilters. We got Linda, Yvonne, and Pat. And Yvonne is Yvonne Purcella, who is no longer with us and was a very good personal friend of mine. Anyways, the challenge was aging, all right? So this in here by Linda was about she once had blonde hair and then it turned to gray. So this is her rendition of aging and time. Then Yvonne got it. And if you look here, there's a lot of different things that have to do with time. Like here's a clock and the seasons, Christmas, the spring. And so this was Yvonne's edition. And then Pat quilted it. And I think, I don't know how it ended up in my hands, but it's staying in my hands. And it says on here, three translations on time, right across the bottom here. And it used to hang in my kitchen. I like quilts everywhere, but unfortunately my kitchen's been reconfigured, so I'm not quite sure where it's gonna go, but boy, I love it. I love this particular piece. I think the ladies hit it out of the ballpark. Then we were at Yvonne's for the legend show at thequiltshow.com. <clears throat> And she had these wonderful faces that she was doing, playfulness beyond measure. And I purchased one, and I'm so glad I did, because again, Yvonne is no longer with us. And honestly, I think all of this kind of inspired the face jam that everybody's going on with right now, and that Freddie has really brought to the forefront. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I like this. I want to come get a close-up of that one. Please. Absolutely. And she didn't want to sell it to me, and I'm like, no, that's not how it rolls. Oh, yeah, that is so cool. Isn't that cool? Would this and not be a blast to right, do? Right, right, and it's on a wood frame, too, with the buttons all glued around it, right? Yeah, let me and, turn it around so people can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a great extra way to keep your uh, embellishing going once your the quilt finished. Your doodads. <laughs> Get your doodads in. <laughs> Now here's a quilt by Ricky I want to share in a moment, but as I was digging through my quilts, look how professionally they're stored. Oh my gosh. I do, don't do this at home, people. Don't do this. You don't want to stack them. You're going to get folds, but they come out enough that I refold them different ways. Anyways, Lola Jenkins was on the quilt show and she actually got, went into a coma or something like that and came out of it and was a quilter. Yeah, I think she was like an accountant or something. I don't know, but it's a crazy story. But I love this quilt. It's called Girlfriends, again, by Lola. No, Best Friends, and by Lola Jenkins. And I love it because it reminds me of my best friend, Karen Slates, and how we are when we go out. My bestie! How, what happens when we go out and eat together? Love this quilt. My only challenge with this quilt, and I'll be honest, is that it just doesn't quite fit anywhere in this house. So I gotta figure out what to do because man, I look at this and it just makes me smile beyond measure. This is a challenge on the quilt show. Um, Ricky and I looked at an antique quilt and then made our own rendition of it. And so he gifted me this on the show. Is that just not beautiful? Yeah, really, really. I really like the color tones and stuff mm -hmm. the way it is. Yeah, this is a lovely, lovely piece. And again, the quilting on it is beautiful. And of course, you know he did it, you know. Right. Well, so I love the modern take on a basket. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a basket block? Yes. It, it looks like a lot of kind of a free piece. It was a crazy utilitary quilt. I, I want to know, I want to see if I can find mine in here. This is by Tanya Ricuccio, and I 
love this. This was at Alden Lane, October issue of uh, the Quilt Life magazine with AQS. And this was in it, and this baby just kept calling to me. And she gifted it to me. If I'm having a bad day, I put it out, and you better just back off and watch it, because I am danger. Right, you hang out on the door, so yeah. John knows right. not to enter, or enter his own Danger room. is here. Danger is here. So. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Throw arr out there well, you know, right above the door, you probably missed it here, it says Pirate Cove. This is a really special piece to me. It was made by Gail Thomas, and it's actually from a photograph that was taken of me with my grandma, with my sister and myself. And this is so true to that moment. I really think this might have been the first time I ever picked a needle up in my hand. Seriously, yeah. And I tell people in lectures, I go, well, which one's me? The one with her back turned to authority. Some things have never <laughs> changed. But Gail, if you knew her, was so... I don't know, just different white hair and kind of lived in a world of wonder. And um, she ended up gifting it to me. I sh again, she's no longer with us. I, I went up to her in Houston. I go, Gail, you got one thing really wrong on this. And she goes, I, what? And I go, my grandpa would never have had a sissy dog like that. Never, ever, ever. And we just laughed about that. But I'm telling you, this is my grandma. This is me. And that is my sister. So, uh, yeah, this, this, this room in here is the grandma room where we've got pictures of, you know, old family members and et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, I, lo I love this. I love this. It's an amazing quilt, yeah. and the quilting in it is incredible. I'm gonna. And I'm thinking uh, we were looking at this earlier and really getting up and picking right, at it. Right. Um, I'm pretty sure she must have painted this whole thing, and then, you know, quilted it. But then, how did she do? I mean, how did she paint this? I mean, this looks like this was on a batik, right? I feel like, like, yeah, the background, but, and then I, I, I couldn't get my fingernail on no. it when I was chipping at it earlier. Yeah, so I don't get it. I don't get it because how could you get this skin tone right, or this with this? And there's, it's not applique. Mm -mm. Beautiful job. Yeah. Even great. that crazy footstool was in their living room. Both of them. Both of them. It was just that dog. Mm -mm, not good. Not that dog. <laughs> <laughs> with the thread over its nose. That's a sissy dog. That's a you. sissy dog. He only had real dogs. Real dogs. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. It really helps support our channel. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. Hit the little button to be notified every time we go live or do a new video for all of you. And here's one from the past I think you'll really enjoy.